first time in this trip backtracking through the stretch between Salt Lake City and Twin Falls, Idaho. And once again, it looks like we're heading straight through an enormous rain cloud. Yeah, there's a national park here called Craters of the Moon. Wow. I really wanted to see, but right now it's the worst weather we've seen in a long yeah. time. We just passed the ice caves too. So this is kind of a cool area here, but not right now. Oh, and by the way, the forecast also says tonight is becoming like 32 or 35 degrees where we're going. It's already 46 right now, so it's only a 10 degree drop to there, so it's very believable. It might even freeze tonight. Yep. We are listening to an audiobook about Ernest Hemingway, and that's, you know, a good tip for these long drives. There's a lot of different ways to kind of occupy yourself. Music is obviously one. But another thing that you can do is download either podcasts or audiobooks. And if it's audiobooks, a really good idea is to find books or subjects about the places that you're going. So Hemingway is one of our topics. And then yesterday we were listening to Lewis and Clark because they talked about their discovery of like the areas that we were in and it just puts it into context a little bit more when you're actually in those spots and you can really appreciate everything that they went through to get to make the discoveries. This read is crazy. Wow, we did it. This was the hardest drive of our entire road trip. It was entirely through a rainstorm and we came here to catch them, Idaho and there's no rain right now. It was long. It's like 5.15 right now. You're crazy. <laughs> I lost long. track of time completely. Drive. Oh yeah. Oh my god. After five hours of driving through rain. But uh, we came here in Sun Valley and this best western is basically for ourselves so far. I haven't seen a single other guest. Exploring Ketchum, which is right next to Sun Valley Resort, and one common thing we've seen in all these Rocky Mountain towns, <laughs> yes, Rocky Mountain Mountain towns, <laughs> uh, is that their trail systems begin right from downtown, and that's mm -hmm. superb. So right here we have a map, and it shows you like this is downtown, and that's Sun Valley Resort, and that's the entire trail system, and, and all that is walkable. That's amazing. The other thing we're noticing about these towns is that they're really well marked. So you can find these like really great maps. You can find just little markers telling you, oh, there's a spring that way, there's a park that way. So it makes it really walkable and really fun to enjoy. It's paved, so it's for bikers for now. Yeah. Bikers or walkers? I don't yeah, know. yeah. It's right off downtown. Mm -hmm. There are flowers. It's a country route <laughs> yes. in the winter. Oh, yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Just ran into a fox, literally. I was just saying days ago that I really want to see a fox. <laughs> it just ran that yeah, way. It went that way. Yes, you got the fox running towards us. So we just saw the fox, and luckily I had my camera right here thanks to this cotton carrier strap. So all it was was right here. So I'm kind of walking, and then we see a fox. Oh, it's back. I'll demonstrate it right now how it works. It wants to go that way for some reason. Wow. That is so amazing. So, as I was saying, <laughs> sometimes you see a fox and you're like, oh shoot, you know, if your camera's in your bag, you have to, let me open this up, let me pull my camera out, let me get my settings right. But no, I had it right here so that when the fox came twice, I was able to just be like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to start shooting. So yeah, really good to have your camera really close by to you as long as you're in a safe place. And then I hit the GoPro immediately ready to go for the sake of the narrative because mm -hmm. that's what's happening first person view. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. so we kind of work as a team like that. And then later on, we were able to stitch it together in post production and make a film or a vlog. We are now looking for the fox, and I picked the trail that looks the most like fox like. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta think like a fox. Exactly. So, this is the trail, and I think this is its fresh tracks. It did just come down. Here. Yeah, see, these are fresh tracks of a canine. So, let's see if it's down here. And if nothing else, it sure is beautiful here. No fox, but the river looks amazing. I'm so delighted you saw a fox. And I got it. We just had our first walk around Ketchum, Idaho, and so far we have to say it's among the best. I actually like it a lot more than Aspen and almost more than Telluride and Breckenridge. Those right. are also special, but I don't know, there's something about this town just feeling like so cozy and comfortable and you can I don't know, just feel you feel really relaxed here. Yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with the openness here. It's much more open than those other tighter places. Mm -hmm. And also it's really tastefully done the way it's landscaped, the way it's designed. And it's not at all full of itself like some of these uh, very coveted mountain towns are. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate this trail because yeah, it turns out that trail will take you all the way to the bottom of that gondola that we saw. And um, if you can also keep following it, it takes you to a warm spring. Yeah. So hopefully we can do that tomorrow. And it's open to walking, yeah. biking, skiing, mm -hmm. and horseback riding. It's a 36 mile long trail, yeah. which is really long. So you could do that like for a full day on a bike, on a Nordic skis and can see a lot. And we just caught it downtown and we are now back downtown right off the trail where we can go dine and all the rest of our needs are met. So yeah, as far as mountain tourism goes, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. And there are many types of hills around here. They differ, like this is distinctly Idaho unique mm -hmm. nature. The hills remind me a little bit of Waimea on the Big <laughs> Island, but Waimea is a lot smaller. <laughs> These yeah. hills keep going. Yeah, this goes for a long time. We begin our first full day in Ketchum Sun Valley area with a hike at the Adam Gulch Trail. And it's a very popular one. The whole parking lot is almost full. It's also very cold. I can see snow on the mountains. I think it snowed last night actually. It did? Yep. It's almost July. Tomorrow is July. Yep. And it's snowing. Yep, it is cold. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Lots of activities here and apparently shepherds are letting their sheep loose around here. Oh. Yeah, huge trail system here. We started out in the town of Ketchum here. We went to Sun Valley to see the big resort. And then we f tried to get it on a trail there, but it's already totally packed. So now we're on this trail system, which is very large, and there's a bigger parking lot here. So which one are we doing? We're doing Adam Gulch Trail. Adam's Gulch. It says moose area. Oh. Great. But Winkle has no sense of humor. I will not like, take kindly. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. We just ran into some quaking aspens, shaking in the wind, and it's really hypnotic. Sounds a bit like rain. It does. So what did you learn about aspens last night? They're yeah. one big tree. Well, there's a big aspen in Utah called uh -huh. Pando, which is all the same tree actually, and it's the largest organism on the planet. That's nuts. But I've heard also a mushroom in Oregon being the largest. I don't know how they distinguish. This is a very beautiful area we're still kind of soaking it in it's it has openings all the time it clears up and then sometimes it's wooded sometimes it's shrub sometimes it's sagebrush and grass good morning, good morning. <laughs> and as we saw in aspen these trails are heavily used people here love it yeah that's part of why you live out here i would, I would 
imagine, right, is to have access to the trails. All kinds of flowers we in there. We just started this hike and we're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we actually did not see flowers in either uh, Colorado or Utah too much. There were a little bit of in Park City. Yeah, they're all around the trail now. So you get orange, blue, and yellow, and purple, and pink, and like, what? <laughs> yeah. It's so pretty. Yeah, they're everywhere now. Blue, and I hear lots of blue. This is just the beginning of the trail. It's, <laughs> it's about six miles, so let's see what we see. It's probably a moose eventually. Hopefully from far away. <laughs> yes. I think there are two strategies to deal with a moose. Mm -hmm. One, keep your distance. Two, have obstacles between you and the moose. Yeah, we saw one in a glacier actually, and it was from far away. We kept our distance. We were kind of following it, it was going down the river, but yeah, we were like, every time it turned around to look at us, we'd be like, oh, <laughs> freeze. <laughs> what a treat. Adam's rib and the forbidden fruit are here. Mm. I wonder what the forbidden fruit is. They claim it's an apple, but are there apples in the Middle East? Maybe Idaho was the Garden of Eden. I bet it was pineapple. <laughs> the shape of it looks forbidden. <laughs> Vegans have screwed humanity since the beginning. If Eve had eaten the snake instead of the apple, we'd still be in heaven. Ew. <laughs> I don't blame her for not doing this <laughs> I think this is our split. We're going to... Pork chop section. Yes. We're going to find pork. We're going to look for Adam's rib and right. a pork chop. And here's the cutest creek ever. It's so cute. So you don't even have to go very far in this trail to find some magical things. Yeah. Alright, let's go look for pork chops. This is where we gain elevation, so... It's like light right here. Looks amazing. We're now walking with the eagles above it all. Catch him his way down there. the rain caught up to us again right in the middle of the mountain yep i think we're just gonna power through it because we're already about at the halfway point so does it make sense to go back so i think we'll just keep going this forest is so cool because the brooks are hidden you hear them and you look around and they are completely overgrown with this foliage but then you look a little harder and you go through all the nettles and you find them down here it's incredible and this water looks among the purest I've ever seen. The trail is really nice too. It's really well taken care of. We run into actually quite a few bikers, but you know, there's enough room to social distance if you need to and still make your way in the trail. Have your own piece of paradise. Yes, even if there is no pandemic, it is really annoying to run into crowds on trails. And is, yeah. where we live, uh, we live next to a metropolis or in a metropolis. All the trails next to the metropolis are swarmed with people Almost every time, wow. That's the coolest flower so far. Take a macro with your yeah. phone, it's so cool. <laughs> it's like it, a fuchsia It kinda. is almost like a fuchsia. Alright, memory out. <laughs> <laughs>